What is the Asus Prime Z270M Plus? My pick of the Intel-based Micro ATX motherboards come from Asus. The Prime Z270M Plus costs in the range £119, and it packs a solid set of features onto a smaller PCB. Asus Prime Z270M Plus, Design and Features the Prime's core specification means this motherboard can support a high-end rig even with its reduced form factor. The CPU socket, of course, supports the latest KB Lake chips, and it's bolstered by the Z270 chipset, Intel's current best consumer spec. The four memory slots handle DDR4 at speeds of up to 3,866 MHz and the top PCI Express X16 slot has maximum bandwidth for the fastest GPUs. Impressively, Asus has also crammed two M.2 connectors onto this board, although it's a little cramped, once it's close enough to the CPU socket to potentially interfere with some CPU coolers, while the second is right up against one of the PCI Express X1 slots. The layout is mixed elsewhere. The tiny heat sinks help make it easy to maneuver and the three fan headers are positioned well, but the headers at the bottom of the board are extremely close to the second PCI Express X16 slot, and none of the four SATA connectors are perpendicular to the board itself. The audio circuits are shielded, but the underlying hardware is only a basic real chip, and there's nothing special about the Intel Ethernet. There's no Wi-Fi despite this being a smaller board and its mainstream branding means there are only modest LEDs around the PCI slots and audio gear, rather than the RGB illumination you'll find all over gaming boards. The backplate is basic, too. I'm pleased by its USB 3 and USB 3.1 Type-C ports, but it only has three audio jacks, and, oddly, it has two PS-2 connectors. That's fine for legacy peripherals, but it's less important than ever in the modern world. Instead, Asus goes big on this board's reliability. The firm claims that 8,000 hours have been dedicated to validating the Z270M's ability to work in all sorts of conditions, from extreme hot and cold temperatures to rust resistance. It's also been built to withstand jolts and shocks, and a 48-hour stress test is run on every product. Asus Prime Z270M Plus Performance the Prime's smaller form factor and lack of real high-end features follow through to its benchmark results. Its Geekbench 4 scores of 5,596 and 18,074 are mediocre, with a latter result a fair chunk slower than most other Z270 boards. It's enough to handle the sort of tasks given to mid-range, micro ATX machines, but it's hardly going to set the world alight. The same is true of other results. Its fire strike score of 6,817 falls right in the middle of the pack when it comes to current generation Intel boards, and its crystal disk mark results of 475 megabytes per second and 459 megabytes per second are underwhelming. They certainly won't help any SSD run at its top speeds. The only benchmark where this board really excelled was power consumption. Its idle draw 51 watts is the best I've seen and its peak figure of 96 watts is only 1 watt more than the most efficient.